Our flange coming off the cat is basically almost gone. All right, we're back up on the Honda Civic. Um, the oil pan gasket's leaking a little bit, so we're gonna change the whole oil pan out because you'll notice in the video, it's a little rusted out. First thing I'm gonna do, all right, see, since I'm pulling the oil out, and it won't be in there for a little while, that's gonna remind me, put oil in the car. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil. All right, okay. Wow! Stuff it was on there good, wasn't it? There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. Came right out. All right, and yeah, it's stuck. Let's give it a little knock. There we go. Remember, we got a new one, anyways. Okay. They tell you that you got five minutes to get the pan on. Meaning, after you get the RTV on, you got five minutes. That's it. That's all they give you. Don't ask me why. I mean, it takes a little longer than RTV than five minutes, but it's what it is. Now, if you put RTV on something hot, oh, it's almost instant. I work on a uh, like commercial kitchen or uh, dishwashers, water TV stuff, and the hot water hits it, done. Just like that. I'm actually using one of these scrapers. If you look at it, it's flat on the end. All oh, these things are great. I love them. I'm gonna use this. I'm not going to actually push on it. I'm just going to pull some of the caulk off with it. I don't want to score the surface. We're gonna apply some brake clean all over it. Clean it up real good. You can see in there little baby pistons. Isn't that cute? It's a 1.7 liter. You can't really see these ones. That one you can. There you go. Maybe. A little light on the subject. A little baby piston. It's cute. What they actually want you to do is in the four corners, right here, here, and these two, put a little uh, gasket maker on there. Just like, and on the opposing side, they end up with gasket sealer here and here. Um, they want you to do the same thing here and here. All four corners. I'm gonna go six foot pounds, which is 72 inch pounds. Next, I'll set this up. It's a cool little thing, my tecton. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, I'm gonna start at this bolt right here. Go around, 72 inch pounds. And you want you just go around it in a circle. They didn't tell me a torque to use, but I uh, they just said to do it three times, three different increments, 
final is 8.7 foot pounds. So now that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's double check this one. Yep. Okay, our last one is 8.7 foot pounds, which is basically 104.4 inch pounds. We're gonna go 105. This should do it. Start at the same spot. Hey, 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 slow down, kid. Slow down. All right, we'll put the dust cover back on here. <laughs> okay, put that, put that on before the pan, which made no sense, but hey. I didn't buy new bolts because the other ones were just stripped. They were bad. Problem was the bolts I got were too long. So I cut, cut them down. The only ones I could find it. Just short notice. So they don't always give you a nice tap. Of course you use a nut first before you do it. Which I did. There we go. All right. Okay, we'll put this piece on. All right, it takes 3.7 quarts. There's quartz right here. There's, so now you're gonna go one, two, three. Here's a half. Here's three quarters. Here's 0.7 right there. So we should be able to bring it down to about there. All right, pour her in there. Get her all lubed up. Here it goes, nothing. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. See that nice? Let me tip you a little bit. No? Let me give you a little tipping. Let me give you a little tipping action. There you go, you can get the full effect of this. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Nice clean oil, nothing like it. That's pretty close, but look at that. A little bit more, not much. That's gotta be about it right there. Look at that. Slightly over, we'll, put a little, we'll, we'll keep that. That way we can let it settle a little bit and we'll check it. Still a little early. Check it. See what we're doing. Oops. Look at that, it's right on the full mark. But now remember there's no quarter, there's no oil in here. Or no uh, oil filter didn't run yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until we fire it up and we'll recheck it. And if we need uh, to do more, we'll do more. Right now I, uh, I still got the exhaust to fix. All right, well, the next order of business is our flange coming off the cat is basically almost gone, which actually bolts to a bracket, which helps hold it up. Just another one of those Honda nice things. Uh, problem is I'm not buying a whole new cat. So what I did, I bought this, okay? This is basically the opposite end of this. Fits on here, just like that. 
but I need the flange. It's nice and thick. It's actually three inches thick. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take this off. See if I can get some of that off of there. Maybe perhaps cut this in the bottom. Heat this red hot where I can bend it up, bend it back or cut it. We'll see how that works. And then re-weld this back on. Maybe tack weld it on here. But then I'm gonna have to make a little bracket that comes off with a hole in it. What I'm gonna do first, okay, I'm gonna get this off, see what I got. I'm gonna just cut this pipe. I'm gonna get the flange in my hand and see what I can work with. She's free. All right, let's go see what we can do with it. Are your glasses? I think we just spun it. All right, next time, smaller. Try a five eighths. There we go. There we go. Turning foreign and American on me day. That's not going on there very well either. I'm going to pull out the heat. We need it anyways. Yeah, that's just spinning. All right. Oh, butter. Oh, bummer. All right, we're going to heat that up. So hot. Should I cut my gloves on or what? What do you think? Bonehead move or non bonehead move? We're going back to the 17. Let's see if that works. No. I think we're just going to burn that thing right out of there. Place some fire, man. Come on. Throw a little water on it. All right, there is a bull's head on the back. I'm not sure if it's welded on us or not. Let's see if it falls out though. Let's see. Ah, yes. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna separate it. This, one here like that. Huh, see it's sticking out too far though. I don't think that's gonna work. No. I mean, there is some room here where it is recessed, so there's like a weld here. Um, might be better just to burn it right off. Start off fresh. Yeah, it's probably my best option. I'm just gonna watch this O2 sensor right here. I'll scoot that up, because there's a wire literally right here. And right here, and here's your O2 sensor right there. But I'm thinking that's probably my best bet. Just burn that right off, get rid of it, start off fresh. Yeah, let's do that. There's nowhere really for me to get my torch in there without 
Doing some damage here. Now I gotta go on to a different plan, huh? Uh, all right, I got something else. All right, we're gonna try this little puppy. Got it from Harbor Freight. Um, <laughs> I bought it just to buy it. Thought it was cool. And it just literally comes in handy constantly. <laughs> Let's hope that maybe this is another one of those times. <laughs> Finish cutting it off the same tool I have. Come over here and look at it. Up in here, we'll accept this. Behind all this, the only part that's in the way is this little lip right here still. So I get rid of that, otherwise we're good. And I'm thinking that would be my best course of action because then I got all this to actually keep it from coming off. And before someone comments and says, you could just buy a two-piece one. Yes, I could. The problem with that is they're super thin and I need to hook to, I need to weld a piece on to weld to the other bracket, to bolt to the other bracket. All right, my original intentions was to cut one side, heat the other side and try and bend it over. Um, I'm gonna gear towards away from there. There's not a whole lot of room up there to try to get it bent back. And then if it gets to a certain point where I need to heat it some more, I don't want to throw some heat up there. So I'm just going to cut it in half. I'll grind them down on an angle so that way I can place the weld and we'll, we'll do, I'm going to do it that way. It's nice, it's nice and thick. So I'll just rip this thing in half. Hang on. Safety first. It's carbide bit. Diablo. The only bit to buy. The only time I put a new bit in there because of one of these, because I snap them over here. You bend them too many times and you snap them, otherwise the bits or whatever, the blade keeps working forever, man. There you go, two pieces. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, let's go back over there and see what we can do. All right, we got these apart now. Let's go just like that. The only problem is this over here is actually welded on. So you can't just put it wherever you want it. You gotta put it where it tells you to put it. That just makes it that much more interesting, doesn't it? We'll get it. We'll get it up there. It's gonna be a little. Yeah, it won't be too bad. Look at that. It's summers around like this. And what I'll do is I'm going to grind these down so they're on an angle on both this side and this side on the top and bottom. And that way I can start just filling it right in with, with bead of weld. You don't want to weld it just like this because then you're not, you're not penetrating all the way through. And I can't get in from the back. All right? So just sit tuned. Don't go nowhere, though. I'll be right back.
Lock it up. Now we're dead. There's our piece. Goes right like that. Take this off again. I think I can just, yeah, that goes here. These two are gonna line up here. And that lines up there. This is a little bit off. I'm just gonna take the spacer, put the spacer in here. So, put that in here like this. Is that not as a spacer? Got some grade eight bolts, three eighths inch by three inch long. Let's see if we can get that on there. A washer and a nut. This. Right. Could have been a little bit longer, I guess. Yeah, there we go. with me. There you go. All right, we'll put this behind here. Hold the nut. Like Same thing over here, if we can get in there. Oh, not a lot of room, huh? See if we can just hold it. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button down below if you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more of this, hit the subscribe button. All right, thanks for watching.